Hi and welcome back. Coaching the Relative Strength Index, Bullinger up Bands and the Z-Score. These are some interesting technical studies which we will program now. The Relative Strength Index or simply the RSI is a technical indicator which oscillates from 0 to 100. This basically shows the relative strength in prices when compared to its history of past N days. The formula for the relative strength is simple. For last N days data, first we calculate the up day or the down day. If the closing price of a particular day is greater than the closing price of previous day, then the up day is simply the change in closing price and the down day is zero. Similarly, if the closing price is less than the previous day's closing price, then up day is zero and the down day is the difference between the two days closing price. Relative strength is calculated as the average of up day and the down day. To calculate the average, either exponential moving average or a modified exponential moving average is used. We then normalize the relative strength to oscillate between the 0 and the 100 levels. So if the RSI is going up, it means the intrinsic strength in the prices is increasing. If the RSI is going down, it means the intrinsic strength in the prices is becoming weak. The next indicator for our discussion is the Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are constructed above and below the prices by calculating two standard deviations away from the rolling mean. The formula for upper band is that we add two standard deviations to the simple moving average, while lower band is calculated by subtracting two standard deviations from the simple moving average. These bands serve the purpose of both breakout and mean reversion strategies. A breakout is considered when price is thrust above the upper band. Notice when the market is in uptrend, the prices continuously cross above the upper band. When the market is in a downtrend, the prices continuously thrust below the lower band. So, for trend following strategies, the breakout of prices above the Bullinger band is considered as an important indicator. For mean reverting strategies, we do the opposite. It gives a buying opportunity when the prices touch the lower Bollinger Band. It indicates a selling opportunity when prices touch the upper Bollinger Band. The next indicator that we will study is the Z-score. A Z-score is nothing but the number of standard deviations the price goes away from its mean. So if prices go two standard deviations away from the mean, then the Z-score is plus two. You may see that the Bollinger Bands and the Z-score are similar. When prices touch the upper Bollinger Band, it means that the Z-score is 2 or above. When prices touch the lower band, it means that the Z-score is 2 or less. This is how the plot of the Z-score looks. Now let us go ahead in coding and plotting these indicators. Since the Pi Algo Trade Library already provides different indicator classes, it makes the coding very easy. The code is similar to what we use to plot the moving average or the MACD. The difference is primarily in the indicator class and the parameters that we are passing. RSI takes only one parameter that is the number of periods on which it is calculated. Everything else in the code is same that we use for the moving average or the MAG. So it will be a repetition if I explain the concepts again. You can simply run this code to plot the RSI. Along with the RSI we have also added two lines that is the upper and the lower threshold. We can use these threshold levels to actually trigger a buy or a sell signal. The Bollinger Band takes two parameters, that is the number of periods and the number of standard deviations. The plot that I showed you used two standard deviations to calculate the Bollinger Band. 
but we can also calculate the bands using 2.5 standard deviations or 3 standard deviations as an example. Here you have the Bollega band plot. To the z-score we are passing 3 parameters. The number of periods on which z-score is calculated, the lower threshold and the upper threshold. Here you have the plot for the z-score. Thank you for attentively listening to this lecture. The next set of lectures will get interesting as we define the buy and sell signals.